Hey guys, welcome to Lincoln to Retro. I'm your host, Lincoln Forcer, and today we're going to be talking about how to mount the Shining Force 3 images we created in the last video and play them. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, as always, the links you're going to need are going to be in the description below, and we're going to head over to the PC now. So there are a couple of programs you can use to mount the images. One is Alcohol 120%. They do have a free edition that you can download. The other one is Daemon Tools. They also have a free edition that you can download of Daemon Tools Lite. And then you can use either SSF or Benafin to play the games. Uh, one thing to note, if you do want to use SSF, I would highly recommend downloading this right here, and not this one, but this one right here, so you can get Beta R3, because Beta R4 has some issues with it, so you'll want to get the version 0.1.2 Beta R3, which will be in this zip file here. If you want to use Menafin, come to the website, you'll go to releases, come down, download the stable branch here, either 32 bit or 64 bit. And he's also got documentation as well on how to set everything up. So it doesn't really leave you hanging at all. It's a really good program to use. And we'll just close the window now. Here we are at our Shining Force 3 folder. We have our games and the designated folders that they should be in. And I'm going to go over the mounting of these images first. If you downloaded Alcohol 120%, just double click it after you install it. Make sure that you do have one drive mounted. And then in order to get the image inside here, you're going to right click, add images. And go to Shining Force 3 folder. We're going to select our scenario one image and we're going to click open. And here it is. And then to mount it, all you have to do is just double click it. And it's mounted. We're going to go ahead and unmount that image. I'm going to close out of that. Now if you're using Daemon tools, you'll just double click the image after you install it. Come over here, click mount, image, select the image. So we'll select our scenario one and you'll be using the Q file guys. That's the one that you want to select. Click open and click mount. And there we go, it's mounted. And to remove it, you just right click and click remove and it will unmount it. So now that you know how to mount the images, we're gonna go ahead and go back to our Shining Force 3 folder. We're going to open up the emulation folder I have created. Remember that zip file I told you guys to download for SSF? That's what you want to use. Go ahead and right click that. We're going to use 7-zip to get into it. And the only one we're going to be interested in is this one right here, SSF 012 Beta 3. So click that. Click Extract. And we're going to click OK. It'll extract it. And here we have it right here. You're going to double click it. You're going to double click SSF and we'll launch the program for the first time. All right, guys, so once the program has opened up, you'll go to options. Here you can set a BIOS. Uh, main thing we're worried about here is CD drive. Just click this. And this is where you'll be able to pick your virtual drive that your image is mounted to. Um, either, either be alcohol, if you're using that, or disk soft virtual if you're using Daemon tools. So we're gonna go ahead and click this. Um, down here, just backup RAM cartridge, that's fine. And then you'll select America screen. Um, you can set up the screen over here. We're going to go widescreen 16.9. We are not going to enforce the aspect ratio on full screen. 
We're going to vsync weight on full screen. We're going to use bilinear filtering. Sound, I don't mess with sound. Controller, this is where you can set up your controller. You'll just come over here after you have it connected to your computer. Click redefine and you'll input what you need to to get it to work. Let me set up my controller real quick. Start. All right. So now that the controller's set up, it'll work. And then we get over, I don't mess with rapid controller. Um, then we get over to the programming. This all depends on your setup. I'm good enough to set it to full. Click OK. You'll get this SSF question mark. OK. You're going to want to go ahead and click X because you're going to want to restart the program. Once it's restarted, as you can tell, it's already launching the game. We can go ahead and enter in full screen that way with Alt Enter or come out of it with Alt Enter. Go ahead and go back into options here. That's pretty much how you run the game with uh, SSF. Now we're going to talk about Manafin. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. Now Manafin, you are going to need two BIOS files, which are mpr-17933.bin and sega underscore 101.bin. I cannot link you to these files. I cannot tell you where to find these files. Without these files, Manafin is not going to work. And once you have these files, you're going to copy, copy or cut them. We're going to go into the Manafin folder. You're going to want to put them in the firmware folder. So we'll paste them in there. Alrighty guys, so once we have that done, we're going to scroll down to where it says Manafin. Double click on our Shining Force 3 folder that we created. And we're going to drag and drop our key file right on top of Manafin. Now this error comes up because it detects two backslashes in front of the path here and it's saying that it's potentially unsafe, but we can fix that. Go ahead and click OK. And you'll want to unmount your image either through alcohol or daemon tools, whichever one you have it mounted with. I have it mounted with daemon tools right now. So we're gonna come over here, right click and remove. Right click the Q file. I use Notepad++. We're gonna edit it with Notepad++. As you can see, there's this backslash. We're gonna get rid of it. Get rid of it and click Save. Now, I'm gonna go back into Daemon Tools. I'm gonna to mount the image again. Mount it, it's good to go. Okay guys, so before we drag and drop our Q file back over into Manafin, we're gonna to need to change some things in the Manafin config. We're gonna open it with Notepad++. We're gonna search for a few terms. First one's gonna be 3D Pad. Find Next. You can see 3D Pad's all in green because that's our search term. This right here is originally gonna be Game Pad. Just delete that and enter in 3D Pad and click Save. The next one you're gonna to wanna to find is going to be Resolution. Find next. Now I have a 1920 by 1080 monitor. So I've set my res to 1920. I've set my uh, X res to 1920, my Y res to 1080. Up here where it says stretch to fill screen, I believe it's originally one, change that to zero. And down here, scaling factor for X axis and full screen mode. It will be, I can't remember what what it is, but I found 6.400000. And then the scaling factor for the y-axis in full screen, it being 4.500000, gives you pretty much a full screen experience for the game. Now this can change depending on what game you're playing, but we're talking about Shining Force 3 here, and that's all I'm worried about. So as long as you do these things and then you click save for the config, it should turn out pretty much like you're about to see when I drag and drop this Q file over.
and it's going to actually launch the game this time. We're going to hit F8. It's going to bring up this uh, menu screen here for Manafin. It's also going to prevent the game from starting. I don't want any kind of copyright strike for music or anything like that. Um, but I will show you that it works here in a minute. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit F8 again. Now, in order to configure your controller, you're going to hit Alt, Shift, and the number 1. As you can see, it says 3D Control Pad 1 down there, and we're going to enter in each command twice. So up, up, down, down. We're just going to continue. And then our analog stick, whichever one you want it to be. I'm using a um, Xbox 360 controller, so you can make it the left one or the right one. And then our mode button. And the configuration's done. Now when that's done, all you gotta do is hit start right here, and it'll launch the game. If you don't press F8, it'll just go right into the game. So don't worry about that. And there we go. It started. And as you can see, it is pretty much in full screen mode there. I'm going to hit exit. And that is pretty much how you mount and how you can uh, play the game with two different programs, either Alcohol 120% or Daemon Tools for mounting, and either SSF for playing or Manathan for playing. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you guys out. And as always, if it did, make sure you comment, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon so you know when I upload new videos. With that being said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. You guys take care.